Shalom, shalom. <clears throat> Early plantation life. I want to give all praises and all the glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakadash, Shalom, Labakarium, Shaw, Yasharala. <clears throat> double honors, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And shalom to you sincere brothers and sisters. Now, I've been meaning to do this, you know, uh, Saturday um, when me and the brothers was out there holding camp. You know, we was in the spirit. And, um, you know, Eve, wicked ass, did not waste any time. And so lock it, brothers, but I'm a little under the weather, man. Babylon the great, man. That's why we gotta pray, man. You know, it's just, we just all messed up, man. You know, the allergies, you know, seasonal allergies, I feel clogged up, whatever. But um, through the spirit, you know, get home and take some herbs, you know, and it's gonna kill it. You know, I mean, we got to balance it out. It comes back, balance it out. But, you know, let's continue real quick on the lesson, man. Eve always got a big-ass mouth, man, you know. And um, and this is why the Lord is going to do a number to Eve in these last days, man. Uh, a lot of wicked women in Israel, you know. This is why it's such a precious thing if you women that are in order and, um, you know, you're being sincere in this walk, man. That is a very precious thing because Yahweh Shai is going to kill and destroy a lot of women, a lot of Israelite women, you know. And he's also going to preserve a nice amount, you know, for the kingdom. You know, the scripture talks about the elect lady. You know, Paul spoke about a, you know, the elder John, you know, and he spoke about the elect lady also. So it's very symbolic to women that are going to be elected. That's going to be part of that remnant and be saved, you know, from the destruction that's coming to Babylon the Great. But at the same time, there's going to be a lot of women, Israelite women, so-called black women, Hispanics, Native American women here in the western part of the hemisphere, man. Babylon the Great, the land of the north. <clears throat> Spiritually, Sodom and Egypt. You're going to be destroyed. You're going to be killed here because of your big mouth. One thing that Eve has is a big mouth, man. You know, a big mouth, man. Especially the so-called Judite woman. Okay? The southern kingdom women. You know, when it comes to, the, um, you know, Israelite women. And time after time, it has been proven. Because, you know, when the brothers are out there in the spirit doing the Lord's work, you've seen it. You've seen it time after time. Rather, rather you're holding camp in Mississippi, Chicago, New York, New Jersey, you know, Wherever the brothers are holding camp at, there's always a woman, man, Eve, that has a big mouth and come against this truth. And I'm going to show you a clip, you know, of us holding camp. And it's a woman, this wicked woman. We didn't even bother her. We didn't even get started. We were just setting up shop. You know, we didn't even open up yet with the greening. And this woman, just wicked, walks by. And, and to show you that she, she was showing her cleavage. She was out of order. She had demons on her. You know what I mean? And she was showing her cleavage. You know? She had this, these big eyes, whatever you want to call it, melons. But she didn't. She was just showing her cleavage. You know? Just out of order. You know? And just to show you that these demons, these spirits... They know who the children of Yahweh Shem Yahweh are. They know who, 
who the true men of the Lord are that are out there in sincerity. The spirits can de the spirits can detect it. They can detect just the same way. I gave an example, you know, when um when you read Mark chapter five, it goes into uh, you know, that spirit, that demon that saw Yahweh Shai. And he knew right away who was who was Yahweh Shai. He called him his name. He said, Son of Man. He said, Yahweh Shai. You know, so these spirits know. These spirits are subject to us, man. They know, they know that we are the, you know, the princes of power. And especially Yahweh Ratzah, the elect. They're gonna fear the elect. And in due time, the Lord gives you the strength and spiritual powers, you know, <clears throat> that you gain. You know, as time goes, you know, there's spiritual levels onto this. And, you know, you start rebuking these spirits and they know you. They know the power level that you have reached. They're afraid. Trust me, through experience, I've seen it. I've seen it. I've heard it. I've dreamed about it. I have visions. These spirits are real, man. And these spirits are, are on these women, these out-of-order women, man. You know? Always talking shit, man. Always mocking and scoffing. And this is why the Lord is going to destroy them. Now, I want to get something real quick. Uh, this is my daughter thing. Let me see something. I want to get something real quick, right? This is it right here. This is her. Look at her. As you can see, just want attention. Showing her cleavage. She's all, all she wants is attention. In the ancient world, if you walked around like this, you would be probably put to death, man. Okay? Now, let me see what minute mark we was in. This is uh, four minutes and six seconds. This was Saturday. Me and the brother sat up to it, you know? And this is her walking, coming down. The spirit's already waiting to say something, you know? Now we're gonna go into let's go into YouTube to that uh we're gonna go into that real quick. We'll go to there we go, camp. All right, we're gonna go to the four minute mark. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> there we go. She's so gonna be walking up. Damn, she just came around that corner like a demon. Look, watch this. It's as if she knew we were there. She just came around that corner, that spirit jumped on her. Well, there go the Israelites. Watch this. Listen to what she said. She said, Y'all the Israelites. She walked past and said, Y'all the Israelites. God hates you. God hates what you're doing. And then I think she said, God hates her. Yeah, God does hate you. Because you're a wicked, out of order, mocking, scoffing, wicked ass woman. Let's go back. Uh, 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 uh,
to do is staying above the spirits. The spirits are working. They know who the children of God by Jimmy at the are. Those are spirits for these people. And when they walk past, they know us. That's the bad to be going through, man. <clears throat> you know, and I'm telling the brothers, man, you know, these spirits, these demons, they know who we are. And I know the Apostle Tahar, a couple of months ago, he touched on, on that. He did, he did a scripture, he did a lesson on that, you know, and, you know, we the only ones out there, man, you know, you know, uh, uh, rebuking and, 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 and uh, reproving this wicked ass fucking system, man. And all these people, our own people, man, psh, wicked as hell. We're the only ones out there rebuking this wicked ass uh, place, man. We didn't even get started. We didn't get started. We didn't even 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 get started. We Hey man, Shalom, Warm Salak, your brothers and sisters are uh, tuning in, man. You know, um You know. At the end of the day, the Lord gonna take care of these women, man. We're gonna do we're gonna go continue to do the Lord's work. We're gonna prophesy against this wicked ass queendom. You know, we're gonna rebuke our own people. You know what I'm saying? But let's get some scriptures, man. Cause this wicked ass woman right here, man, the Lord gonna destroy her ass, man. Alright? Hey man, you with me, man? Sirach 25, verse 13. Give me any plague but the plague of the heart. And any wickedness but the wickedness of a woman. And any affliction but the affliction from them that hate me. And any revenge but the revenge of enemies. There is no head above the head of a serpent. And there is no wrath above the wrath of an enemy. I had rather dwell with a lion and a dragon and to keep house with a wicked woman. The wickedness of a woman changes her face and darkens her countenance like a sackcloth. Her husband shall sit among his neighbors, and when he heareth, it shall sigh bitterly. All wickedness is but too little to the wickedness of a woman. Let the portion of a sinner fall upon her. As the climbing up a sandy way is to the feet of the age, so is a wife full of words to a quiet man. Stumble not at the beauty of a woman, and desire her not for pleasure. A woman, if she maintain her husband, is full of anger, impudence, and much reproach. A wicked woman abateth the courage, making a heavy countenance and a wounded heart. A woman that will not comfort her husband is in distress, making weak hands and feeble knees. Of the woman came the beginning of sin, and through her we all die. Give the water no passage, neither a wicked woman liberty to God abroad. If she go not as thou wouldest have her, cut her off from thy flesh, and give her a bill of divorce, and let her go, man. Okay? And look, man, that's, that sums it all right there, man. Proverbs 9 and 13. Let's get that real quick, you know? That sums it all, man. And I think some is another scripture that's uh I think it's in Ecclesiastes. It says, Now one woman Solomon found that was righteous, man. You know, and that's not saying that it's not righteous women. That's just saying that the majority of our women are wicked as hell, man. They always got something to say. A foolish woman is clamorous. She is simple and knoweth nothing. And that's what she was. She was she was just clamorous, man. Just talking out of her ass. And we didn't even get started. She just came out of there. Those those demons, man. Matter of fact, let me I wanna see something. Let me see. Let me go into the blue letter. Let's go into that book. Um let's go into that word clamorous. A foolish woman is clamorous. All right, let's go into that word clamorous. All right, here we go. Strong's H, 1993. Hama. Hama. 
And look what it says, to murmur. See that? Now, when you think about this word murmur, you know, the Lord always uh, punish or did something to those that murmur. You read a story, you go into the story of Moses, you know, there was a multitude that were murmuring against him and the Lord took them out. You know, the Pharisees were among themselves murmuring against Yahweh Shai, you know? So, to growl, you see that roar, cry aloud, you know? Okay? To be clamorous. Be loud, you see that? Be moved, be troubled, to be an uproar. And then most of our women, that's what they do. They make, up a, they make a show, start loud, they get angry. You know, why? Because we're professing against this kingdom. Why? Because we're rebuking you. Because, you know, you're being a harlot the way you dress. We're telling you what the Lord wants you to do to be an appropriate Israelite woman. You're coming against us, the men of the Lord. But soon you will find out. You will find out that you was coming against the men of the Lord, man. Okay? Okay, to be boisterous. See that? To be boisterous. All right, boisterous. All right, look at this. To be boisterous. Rough and noisy. See that? Jolly or rowdy. Unrestrained. A lot of these women are very unrestrained. You know why? Because they have liberty in Babylon the Great. And Babylon the Great, they have the they, they, they have the liberty and freedom to be wicked. They have the liberty and freedom to be a whore, a harlot, to talk about, to, to go against her man, to think of herself self-independent, that she could think she could do something without a man. Now, a lot of these women that have good careers and they're self-dependent, well, guess what? When the hell all hell break loose, you're going to pray that you had a man of the Lord. And you're going to see that you wish you did have a man. You know, when all hell break loose, you're very unrestrained. But see, I just wanted to touch on that because that happened on Saturday. All praise to y'all by Shim Yahweh Shah, man. Shalom.